was a cold, dark, lonely night. I was alone, nobody in sight. My train was late like a newborn, the kind that missed his first flight. Out of the smoke from the neon streets, an old man seen, he speaks to me. He's blinded by the life, time and again he does wrong just for spite. He's crippled from cold nights, receiving endless beatings. Asking God wins the next season, how much more can I take? Give me one reason. Palms raised high to the sky, make up belongings on the floor. I swore he's singing songs to no one about nothing at all, maybe I'm wrong. He's singing these crowd of stories of love and hate that meant so much. These goblins kept his life going, kept nickels in his cup. We're both framed in awkward silence, while this doesn't seem to make much sense. I was in his living room and made in his face his time as trust. He finally says to me, I'll smoke this last cigarette and give it up. But he laughs, he adds, he's not sure which to save his life or habits. His habits made his fingers weak, many chances he didn't grab it. Consistently chose bad habits, it's his life that made it hard. smiled, offered him a nod, I'm not a hypocrite, not a fraud, it was all I could conjure up, I got problems too, words won't fill your cup, I got responsibilities to face, in this case they're woven to my dreams, I got more bills to pay than I have time, I'm ripping apart at the seams, I got a plan and I know that if I stick to it I'll accomplish many things, but I got goals that beat my will, lately it's been hard to accept the challenge, and he said, man that's God talking to you, I don't know why you can't see, you're so blind that you can't spare to make change, all your focus is on M.E., all wrapped up in your own skin, you can't set a man free. I've been in your shoes before, it feels like it was yesterday, if not at all. My existence has been a blink, for the life of me, I forgot what I saw. And he said, man, that's God talking to you. That made so much sense to me, even though I'm convinced this man's insane. I told him, mind your own business while I wait for my train. He says, I've been waiting here forever, I'm dying in my own skin. The only reason you're living life, you're curious what happens at the end. That might be true, why should I pay my hard earned attention? To hear about corruption, lies of the mind, I'm tired of this shit, it's vagabond doctrine. Tell me if you got so much knowledge to give, treat yourself to what you're offering. You probably lived a hard life for that, I truly apologize. But I have my own problems you can understand or realize. So here's a couple bucks by yourself or whatever makes you happy. But he smiled, refused the money, sat there singing songs of love and hate. I crammed the change in my pocket, called him a lunatic, went on with my weight. As I stood there hovering his frame, I could feel his eyes judging me sadly. As if he had to convince me my life on the wrong track, I needed it badly. I said, hey old man, your cigarette's all smoked up, it's time for you to leave. He looked at the trail of ash in his shirt, smiled as if it gave him some sort of relief. He propped himself up, collected his life, and got prepared. Become one with the night, turned around, wished me luck with all my affairs. Said something about learning to walk, before I knew it, he was out of my sight. I paid no mind, his words missing, what did he mean about darkness and light? I had already forgotten his reasons, home was on my mind, not his cryptic meanings. Another traveler was on a platform, I'm not sure, but for some reason. He was running towards me, all I could see were his eyes. But it's his words that stuck with me, somehow they caught me by surprise. Through his heavy breaths he asked if he had just spent time with the old man. I nodded in affirmation, tried to calm him, tell me why you ran. He said, man, that was God talking to you, how could you not see? That was God talking to your face, trying to hand you the keys. Trying to wake you from this place, he was right here and I can't understand why you chose to make him leave. He just died in my arms right outside the station, said you were his only friend. Made me to tell you about his life, make you see the light, give you your chance once again. I cringe at the reality that was all too presently facing me. I told the man I had no time for this and on my way I had to be. Right about that time my train pulled up, I made my escape. I sat in the empty plastic seat and held tightly to my misguided fate. That was decades ago, now I sit singing on my own platform. My belongings packed tightly in my bags, cutting out my own sad songs. My habits made my fingers wink many chances, but I don't grab it. I consistently chose bad habits, but it's my life that made it hard. I had more responsibilities, and as a result, I don't need dreams. I don't have any bills to pay, like I'm free as captivity. I don't have any plans except to sit here and weather the storm. I wish I had goals, but if I had those, I wouldn't warn you from my platform.